Holy smokes, we are back on bad publicity. Jeez, it's been a it, it's been a long little while since we've seen you last. And uh, man, Corey and I have been really racking our brains for the next category here of standout cards. Um, so much so that it looks like we could still be wearing the same stuff from the last episode. <laughs> we, we haven't slept since. Oh We've just my been... goodness! Oh, my oh goodness. man! Yeah, I think uh, I've got, I need a I've, I've got the new Pubby Award here, right for <laughs> for the for the next card that's on tap here. Um, our stand uh, our standout card from protection from core plus cycle one. No allies. That's Say right. That and also just uh we talk about this a little more in depth in the first video, and I'm probably gonna go drop back. this in every time. Yeah, go, um, back, go back and watch that. It's very consumable. That's right. <laughs> Our standout cards does not necessarily mean the best. Um it doesn't mean like, oh, you're dumb if you don't play with this card. It just means a card that overwhelmingly seems like it would have slid in and fit into almost like any build of that aspect, um, or does something really unique and really cool. That makes it like a really fun like play with card um so you know we don't feel like you know there's any wrong or right answers is our opinion mm -hmm. and so yeah, we're gonna go with that something about this card stood out is what it is whether it be um i, I mean i'll spoil it's not it's not art related we didn't judge them on art even though there's some cool arts that'd be a hard one but <laughs> but it kind of it could be mechanic it could be you know versatility in the build it could just be something so crazy about that card that is just super fun and you want to add that level of excitement <laughs> to your game so you have thrown it in there man do we have a good selection of protection cards to go with oh Corey, most people are probably <laughs> sitting there thinking that our standout card from protection is going to be med team. Would they be right if they picked med team, Corey? They would not be correct. What? What? I med know. Med team know. is a versatility card there. You got to be joking with me. Is it armored vest then, Corey? You must be telling me a card like armored vest, a staple. It's so powerful. Max one per player. An extra defense? Who doesn't want that in a game that we're getting bombarded by heroic strikes all the time. So, yes, I, I do love the armored vest from time to time, but that is not our standout card. You can definitely tell who the uh, protection aspect player here is at the table. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I think he was, he's trying to pick at me because I, I love playing what's considered by most the most boring aspect in the game. But I love protection, so... <laughs> I will well, fight for all you protection lovers. I yeah, I used to play protection back when it was uh, you, you you know my um, Miss Marvel days. I thought it was I, I thought that, it was it, it was that, a good pair. That, that deck had like four protection cards in it. <laughs> <laughs> it was like all neutrals. <laughs> so anyway, well, anyway, we are getting into um, some of these aspects that that the, the the selection of cards was a little harder to narrow down. Um, mm -hmm. We did talk about some ones that you know still didn't make the cut. Um, Night Nurse was very interesting mechanic wise um, when she came out. I I really appreciated um, what they were doing with that card. Um, yeah, it's a really strong contender. Yeah, Corey, you had uh, you had an interesting one from the uh, Strange Pack. Oh, was that um, shift? Momentum shift. Yeah, yeah. That's one that was a good consideration, but I don't feel like it plays well in all protection builds. Um. And also, it's just kind of like cool. Deal two, heal two, neat. Yeah, like it, it, it's just like mm. meat potatoes. This is like a good solid card to play with in those builds. Um, and even cool. from the fact with Night Nurse too, and the uh, the status card, right? Like sometimes that's going to be cool, but it's not always going to be able to to use it, right? And I I feel like she comes out at a good cost for what she's doing. Um, <laughs> yeah. and, you know, to take advantage of those three counters. But um, one card kind of. When you poured the cream into the cup, it rose to the top. Sure, we'll go with that. I like it. I like it. Uh, yeah. So uh, the drum roll, our decision uh, for, for the standout protection card goes to preemptive strike. Boom. Boom. Um, yeah. So I guess I'll start. Um, so. I'm a big fan of this card. I play it in almost all builds. He's got the award. You can do the acceptance speech in just a moment. But it's low cost, um, and it just has a really good like swing effect. 
um, you know, it, I think it helps you a lot as a protection player. You're kind of always like mathing and paying attention to your allies and yourself and making sure people can survive the round, how long you can kind of push it before they need to flip and heal. And preemptive strike really helps you in that. And the fact that you can kind of help to do your best to ensure that like they're not taking any extra damage past what you can see and math out on the board. But then the fact that you're taking like some of those like high boost icons and you're putting it back down as damage on the villain is just a cool little like twist, right? It's like they're coming and hit you, and like the artwork perfectly displays it. We're like, nah, just kidding. And you like juke them and then sucker punch them, and and you put the damage on them instead. It's just cool. It's it gives you some good interaction um, with a part of the game with the boost icons and how you can kind of flip it and reverse those like high boost icon cards back as the being damaging to the villain. Yeah, what I liked about this card was, again, a little bit of push your luck factor. Um, I like those kind of decisions, and it really makes you, at the end of a game, go back and think about those moments that you played it. Could I have more value out of it, right? Because when, um, when a boost card is turned up, and you have this in your hand, you're thinking, so many choices are available to me, right? Because if I can... I can play it right now, and that means I'm clearing my hand out to draw up more cards next time. I'm, you know, I'm I'm canceling maybe one to two boosts. I know, you know, if you if this is a couple times through, you know, uh, the hero or the encounter that you're playing, you know that there's got to be a couple more higher boost value cards. Do you hold this back for those? Um, you, you know, is is the the board state in such De- deterioration that you need to drop this right now because if you don't there is no next time so i think that uh those choices that this card um presents is great and i love the fact that this is an open information game where a boost card is flipped up and i could be sitting there thinking and i'll be like ah oh, cory i'm holding preemptive strike do i use it now no, I'm going to hold it. And then you're like, okay, yeah, you know, we, we can, we, we don't need it on one. And then the next time, uh, it comes up and I'm, you know, everyone around the table is looking at you and they're like, man, use your preemptive strike, man. Like, <laughs> like what are you thinking about? And you're like, no, no, yeah. I'm going to push it. I'm going to push it. Like, I don't need it now. Let's hold it. We know more is coming, uh, you know? So I like, yeah. I, I like that open discussion at the table when people know what you have and they're like, come on, come on. This is, I need this. Save me guy. I'm going to tell yeah. you, know how much damage I'm going to take right now? Cancel this I out, think, man. I think it creates some really good, like decision-making on the fact on the part of the protection player and working with the table, but it also helps to really reinforce that how appreciative the rest of the table is that you have taken it upon yourself to be the friendly protection player and to keep everyone alive while they do their cool shenanigans and feel all awesome. And you're just over here doing your due diligence, making sure that they're all not KO'd at the end of the round and just keeping everyone on their feet. <laughs> you, can, so, you can tell at the end of every game, you're expecting everyone to thank you. Aren't you? You, you, just haven't got, you just haven't got enough. Thanks this year, Corey. I yeah. Guess that's <laughs> I guess, I guess so, that's where we are. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's the thankless job of the uh, protection player. No, but I, I think that that's what makes board games really fun. And I've, I've been in those situations where win or lose, afterwards, when you're talking it out, you're like, man, if I held that preemptive strike or if I made this decision or did this decision or this plus this, if it had to come out wrong, those kind of recreating and talking through those moments, you know you've played a good game when cards like this create that for you. So Absolutely. That, so that's to me is is why Preemptive Strike um, is so standout um, amongst the, you know, obviously the cost and stuff is great and whatnots, but it, it's, yeah. it's just it's just good. I, I, I yep. like it. I like it. Absolutely agree. It's, it's one of my faves. Man. So. Whew. These are getting more strenuous as we go along. I can't, uh, you know, I can't wait to see what future Chris and Corey, uh, I mean, Jameson and Corey, <laughs> uh, I, I can't wait to see what the future us is, uh, are doing. Shout out to Bill and Ted's, right? I know. Um, 
future future card game us is yeah well i think i think the future is telling me what's coming in the next episode would you would you like to hear would you like to know tell us i believe in episode three of our series year-end review award show shenanigans hijinks whatever we're doing the aggression aspect card not ally aggression aspect card what what could it be do we actually have 12 of these episodes no we we don't oh because that would have been so thematic right at this time of year (laughs) leave it to us somebody throws us a softball and we swing and miss it oh my god anyway uh we want to hear your thoughts on what um protection cards really stood out to you um so definitely like blow up the chat let us know which card you love you will play out um one that we might have overlooked or missed and why you really appreciate and like that card right and and you know if you feel that these should have been a lot more rambling involved here and we should have made like a good 30 minute video on protection let us know that too if you think it was too long and it should have been consumed as an instagram story let us know that too <laughs> show it should have fleeted it we yeah. should have just fleeted yeah. it to you uh- <laughs> Oh, so. nice. everything catches on i don't know TikTok, right. TikTok. Right. yeah uh, thank you guys for joining us in with this we really appreciate um the interaction with the community and uh we just think these are kind of fun little end of the year things to do all right absolutely we will catch you in the next one or will we now nah, we will we just plan with you see you later <laughs>